Hello and welcome to Hermiston Strength and Conditioning and Athletic Development. What we're going to do is work on a mobility uh, strengthening exercises, a good dynamic range of motion warm up. It's going to be very quick. Who I have with me right now, this is Alexis Mercado, Audrey Lincoln, Andrew Horn. They're going to go through the exercises and uh, do a great job here. So we're going to start off with the dynamic range of, of, of movement and warm up and then we're going to go from that to core strengthening exercises and then hip strengthening exercises and that'll be the progression. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is start off and Alexis is going to start over here and he's going to start off what we call a knee hug. Now all a knee hug is, is just getting the hip flexors warmed up. So here we go, ready, set, go. The important thing is, is to get as much extension as possible so that the knee comes all the way up to the chest and the opposite leg hip flexor gets maximum extension. We just call that a knee hug. That's just to get things going and get moving. If you're on a basketball floor, work it from one sideline to the other sideline. If you're on a football field, go about 20 yards or so, and that should hit it. Okay, the next thing Audrey Lincoln's gonna do is she's gonna do what we call a walking lunge. Now, lunges, walking lunges are very important. Notice that Audrey snaps her heel up to her butt and steps out and pulls that heel up and steps all the way out Notice that her back is flat and she gets perfect extension as she pulls that heel up and steps out. So she gets full hip rotation. The key coaching points on that is, is activating the core with flat back and good hip rotation with the heel coming up as she's stepping out. Okay, Andrew's gonna come up next. Andrew's gonna show you a backward lunge in the same technique, same form, but now it's just reverse. Ready, set, go. Notice that his back is flat and his chest is up and he's pulling that heel up as he's stepping back. Notice he's turning his upper body. We really wanna get a turn while we're doing this because it helps with balance. Again, that's a nice job. So that's what we're looking for on backward lunge. Next up, Alexis Mercado here is going to work on what we call a monster walk. Now on the monster walk, what we're looking for, we say monster because it, it, it indicates what the base needs to look like. What we call a nice big fat monster base. So his, he, his feet are wider than his hips. He's gonna sit back in a squat position and he's gonna step six inches at a time. Look at this outstanding core activation here. His chest is up tall, eyes are up here. He's gonna step six inches at his time with his feet flat. Ready, set, go. And he's just going here. Feet are flat. And notice how his feet are staying flat. We do not want him to roll to his toes. Look how he stays parallel with the hips, parallel with the knees. That's a good hip burner right there, a great conditioner right there. We call that uh, monster walk. Again, key coaching points on that are core activation, okay? Feet flat on the floor. And we call them monster walks, like the old school 1930s black and white monster movies. We want them to pick them up and set them down, Rah, okay? Like an old monster movie. Okay, next up, what we're gonna work on is Audrey here is gonna show us what a side monster looks like. Again, I would face the camera, okay? Again, now she's gonna get her tummy tight, chest big, squat down in that monster position. I even want her even lower. Okay, now she's gonna step with her feet flat one at a time. One, two, one, two, one, two. Look at that great hip flexibility right there. She's staying nice and flat, back is flat right there. Nice job, Audrey. Okay, now each one of these exercises, you do a couple of reps each one of these and if you do them correctly with full depth, you will find that your hips are burning and getting you ready for practice, okay? Just doing a jog and bending down and touching your toes and doing a couple static stretches is not gonna cut it in a good warm up. A good warm up means you are loading your hips, creating stress on your body and really getting your heart rate going. So that's a side monster, okay? Next thing up, my man Andrew here, okay, is gonna do what we call an inchworm, okay, inchworm. Now, inchworm, we wanna do this with our knees staying straight, okay? All right, so he's gonna come all the way out to a push-up position, okay, all the way out to push-up. Now, we can do these with a push-up, so he can do a push-up, and then come up and then tippy toe, or you can do it without the push up, either way. The main thing is a range of motion. Notice the knees are staying straight, and he's going across here and making his moves just like an inchworm, okay? Tippy toe up, tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe. Knees are straight till he comes up flat. Tippy toe, tippy toe, tippy toe, till the feet come up flat. That's a nice job, that's called an inchworm right there. Great job. Okay, and you do that all the way across the floor. Again, 
You want to make this count. You don't need to make it 100 yards. You don't need to make it a mile. But if you can go like 15 to 20 yards tops, I mean, that's really going to get a good warm up going. And that's the basic dynamic range. There are other things that you can do, but that's enough to get you started, okay, on the dynamic range warm up. Okay, next thing we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about stationary core strengthening exercises. Stationary, okay? And you can do some of these with a partner or by yourself. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have our man Alexis here. He's going to grab a medicine ball, do what we call medicine ball push ups. Now, Medicine ball push-ups, first of all, when you do a good push-up, and especially a medicine ball push-up, you are working the whole core. Not just part of the core, we're getting all of this here. We're getting the chest, we're gonna get the shoulders, we're gonna get the obliques, okay? We're gonna get the transverse abdominals and so on, but also we're gonna get the back. Anytime you do a good medicine ball push-up, it works the whole core, not just arms or chest. Okay. All right. So my man Alexis here is going to get in absolute straight position. Key coaching points here. He wants that chest right over the ball. Okay. And he wants to keep his arms close into the body, back flat, head up at all times. Stomach is tight. He's going down just a touch. Okay. And boom, right back up. Go down slow, up fast. Down slow, up fast. Good. Down slow, up fast. Good. Okay. Go ahead and rest. That's one you want to go to a burnout. Some athletes will be able to do five, some 10, some 20. You want to take your athletes to burnout on this. Each athlete is different. So you want to tailor it to their ability, okay? Now, the other thing about the, this uh, particular exercise is, is this. Maybe you have athletes that can't quite do a good push-up on their own. So this is what you do. This is what we call the um, uh, this is called a modified one. So what my man Alexis is going to do is going to get down there. Okay, he's going to do that push-up position. But now let's say as he goes down, he gets on the ball and he can't quite push himself back up. Boom, he stalls out. Okay, try to push up. Alexis, push, push, push. He can't try to get there. So what he's going to do is go to his knees, push up. Now reset. Now go down slow. Reset. Good, good. Right there. And that's how you do it. So you can reset and do a modified that way. Go ahead and rest, Alexis, nice job. Now you might be asking yourself, okay, does that help me? And the, absolutely the answer is yes, because when you go down and you come all the way down and touch, you're still strengthening even if you can't push all the way up. The bottom line is make sure you go down and touch before you try to push back up. Okay, so that's a good medicine ball push up. Okay, the next thing on some good core strength and good hamstring development exercise, we have our Girl here, Miss Lincoln here is gonna come down. She's gonna get on her knees and get in a position where she's going to do some, a, what we would call a hamstring dip or hamstring curl, okay? Um, Andrew's gonna hold her legs. What she's gonna do, she can do this with a medicine ball or you can do this without a medicine ball. Are you gonna do it with the med ball? Okay, she's gonna go down and what she's gonna do is get her back nice and flat. She's going to go down till she touch. I mean, almost till she can't take it anymore. She's going to go down until she breaks. Soon as she does, the ball's going to hit the floor. She's going to bounce and she's going to pull herself back up with her hamstrings. Watch this. Here we go. Big chest, eyes up, ready, set, go. Boom. And then pull it right back up. Good. Go all the way down, slow as you can. Then boom, right back up. Now, let's say that, now that's an advanced version. Okay. Let's say Audrey can't do it with the medicine ball. Task the medicine ball away, just go down with the push-up. Ready, set, go, and then go. Now, one way to keep them from cheating, because the coaching point here is to keep the hips flat, you can put the hands behind the back until the last second, and then she's gotta put her hands out. So hold her feet, stomach tight, big chest, ready, set, go, and then pushes herself out, and then right back up. And you want the push-up to be as little as possible. Guarantee you, your first time your athletes do this, if they haven't done it yet, I'll guarantee you a hamstring cramp every time. They will feel it back there. And after a while, they get used to it, and it's pretty good. Okay, so that is a hamstring curl. You can do it with a medicine ball or without the medicine ball. Okay, next stationary exercise that's good for core and hip strength is I'm going to ask Mr. Alexis to go over and grab that bar. Come on over here, Alexis. Yeah, I grab the bar or the PVC pipe. Doesn't matter. I, I, I would like for you to get the bar. Okay, and Audrey, why don't you go over and grab the PVC pipe real quick. Okay, now, 
What Alexis is gonna do, what we call is an overhead squat with the bar or a snatch squat. Now, coaching points on these are this. First of all, this is about core activation and hip flexibility. You can do these in any practice. You can get medicine balls with it, plates. I'm gonna show you with a plate here in a minute. You can do it with a plate, you can do it with a bar, you can do a PVC pipe, you can do it with a chair, you can do it with a broomstick. It doesn't matter because it's good for flexibility and core no matter what. So my man's getting what we call a snatch grip. So his hands are really wide. Snatch grip means we're gonna get real wide. He's gonna put the bar over his head and he's just gonna squat with it. His eyes are gonna be laser focused. Gonna push his hips back, toes up, heels down and just squat. Now you can do this in the middle of a practice. If you got people shooting free throws, half your people can be shooting free throws, the other person can be working on this with a PVC pipe. Okay, Alexis, will you do me a favor and go ahead and turn around and face that way? Okay, watch Alexis's hips move back. Ready, set, go. And he pushes those hips back. Toes are up. Notice how he's activated his core. That's outstanding core work right there. Very well done. Okay, rest there, Alexis. Good job. Okay, we can also, if a bar is too heavy and you need to go ultra light, here's a PVC pipe. Now don't get fooled with Audrey, she doesn't really need a uh, PVC pipe, she can handle all this weight just fine, but we're gonna show you with a PVC. So tummy tight, big chest, and again, just push the hips back. Notice that the bar's staying behind her head. She's activating your hips first, and look at that core strength, great core right there, that's a nice job. Okay, that, those are overhead squats. Okay, the next thing we're gonna show Okay, now we're gonna talk about a little bit more type of mobility stuff that's a little bit more challenging. So we're gonna get our BOSU ball. Alexis, will you get the BOSU ball? Okay, all right. Now, come on, uh, Andrew. Andrew's gonna grab a medicine ball. Flip it over. Andrew's gonna grab a medicine ball and he's gonna stand over, stand right on top of this and he's gonna squat with the medicine ball. So as he steps up, he can jump up. That's good, jumping is good. Okay, he's got good balance, or he can step up. Now, what he's gonna do is get his tummy real tight, his eyes up, he's gonna hold the medicine ball right here in front of him, okay, and he's gonna push his hips back. Ready, set, go. Again, you can do this in the middle of practice. Toes are up, heels are down, you're gonna push those hips back. Ready, set, go. Now, look at what this does here for hip strength. As this ball moves, he has to balance. That increases his proprioceptive abilities here in his hips and his flexibility. Ready, set, go. Toes are up. He's pushing his hips back. Now a more advanced version. Now we're going to get the ball up. Now this is going to be tough. Now I'm not even sure he can do this because I haven't done here with him yet. But back is nice and flat. Now you can really feel it in the back in what we call the spinal erectors. So stomach is tight. Eyes up. He's going to push his hips back. Two three and up and he's really gonna load those hips back two three and up always pushing the heels down pushing through the heels nice job and I know he's feeling it in his core right now okay all right good job okay so that's an overhead squat thank you Andrew good job that's an overhead squat with that now next thing we're gonna do is we are going to work some a little bit more mobility now we're gonna talk about a lunge okay an overhead lunge with a medicine ball or a plate. So I'm gonna have all three of these guys work this. Um, why don't you grab, yeah, why don't you grab a plate, another lighter plate, bigger plate, and one of you grab a ball, okay? Yeah, Andrew goes, I'll take the ball. All right, okay, we're gonna come down here on the end, one at a time, come on down, guys, okay? And now we are going to work a walking lunge, okay? with the plate over the head. Now, coaching points on these are this. We want the center of that plate to be over the ear, okay? Stomach is tight, see how she's pulling in, she's always activating the core. Now, the same as the walk and lunge, we wanna pull that heel up, step out, boom, barely maybe kissing the ground with that opposite knee, look at her, step, pull that hip, look at the hip rotate. See how the hip rotates. That's what we're looking for. Okay, next person, set, go. See, this is what we're looking for. Pull that heel up, step out, look at the back, nice and flat. Nice job. Look at the hip rotation, full hips, snapping the heel up and stepping it out. Here comes the third guy. Now, my man Alex got the big, he got the 25 pound plate. He's talking with a deeper voice today. Okay, he's pulling that heel up and stepping out. Pulling the heel up, stepping out. 
Good job right there. Okay, very nicely done. Okay, now we're going to come back and do that with a backward lunge. So come on out. Now these are more advanced. We also like to recommend these going up the stairs. So you go to the stairs over there by the gym or whatever, put the plate up over the head and take the stairs two at a time with the same technique, toes up, pushing through the heels. So here we go with backwards. Ready, set, go. Pull the heel up, step back. Pull the heel up, step back. Notice that the center of it is right over her ears. Look how we're keeping the form. She's working the dickens out of her core right now. Look at that back stay nice and flat. Go ahead, Andrew, ready, set, go. Okay, heel up and step back. Heel up and step back. And we wanna challenge those hips, challenge the hip flexors. And then the last one, here we go. Ready, set, go. Okay, good, heel up, step back. I want that heel way up next to the booty, way up there, because I want full hip rotation. I want the hips fully rotating and stepping back and getting that good hip flexion. Okay, nice job. Okay, so that wraps it up for the short deal today. All that is is a mobility warm up kind of a pre-practice type of thing, or you can use it as a post-practice. You can use a couple of these exercises while you're shooting, working on skills, shooting free throws, working on something while your other group is over there working, working whatever basketball drills they're working on. You can work on core strength, you can work on footwork, you can work on all these things at all at the same time to maximize your practice time and working on these techniques. I would like to thank these three folks here. They did a great job, nice job. You guys were beautiful. And uh, so that's it. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. And God bless and take care.